All right, everybody, so good to see your face. Happy New Year. Today, what I'm gonna go through is just one little ride session with me. We're gonna go out together, but what we're gonna cover is the most important things that we all forget about in winging. So, most important thing, before I started the session, the night before, I made sure my gear was good, made sure everything was ready to go in the car, my pump, my impact vest, my helmet, my board, my board leash, if you need that. Um, wing, multiple sizes, it's pre preparation before a session to make sure you're ready for the next day. It's always very important. Now the next one is, uh, shout out to uh, Zane Schweitzer who, you know, a very important fact is now I'm here, my wing's pumped up, I know I'm ready to go, everything's good and I wanna assess my scenario. So I look at the, the beach and I look at like people and what I could hit or what I could run into. Um, so my awareness of my surroundings. So I want to look right now and I'm be like, okay, we got waves, so I got to make it through the waves. I got a winger here that just fell. We got some kites. You know, know your situation, know my exit, know how I can rescue myself, self-rescue to get out. Be prepared for this because it does happen. Um, the next one, this one I'm throwing in just for all you. Make sure to pick up a phone, call your family, loved ones, tell them you love them. Say, hey, going out for my session, I love you. You never know what can happen in life. It's always good to throw that gesture out there and make sure that you show your appreciation to the ones who support you and love you the most. Um, so I've done my assessment. I have my high hook to kind impact vest, my, my top just in case if I were to swim a long time, I'm nice and warm, my helmet for if I flip and fall onto the foil. Um, I got my lift board, my Cabrina wing, ready to rock and roll. So now I look at the waves, they're not quite up yet. We got a nice south wind, so my goal is to go out, but I have to assess going into the waves. So let's do this. Let's go have a session. All right. Did I say how much we appreciate you guys? All right, so when I um, head out into the water, my goal is usually to put the wing up high and be aware of the people walking on the beaches. So we're gonna let this gentleman go by. Oh, he's turning around. All right, so my goal is when I look at these waves, I always try to get the wing as high as I can because I want to, if anything goes wrong and I get hit, at least I have the wing above. It's not going to get tumbled in the waves at the moment. My board, I can always just ditch downwind of me. So it's an easy way to enter the water. And the trick is to look at the set. I don't see anything crazy coming, but I'm going to time it and I let one roll through and then I really attack to get in and I try to just get as past that break. And again, I'm just keeping that wing up high and that board right next to me downwind. So if something goes wrong, I'm right here. All right, we're looking good. So now once I get myself out, now I'm gonna climb onto the board. I'm gonna go for my session. So here we go. So I'm just gonna straddle this board. And now I can either slowly use the wing to work my way out so I get a little bit past the break. And all I'm doing is just crabbing into the wind. We're looking good, I'm off the beach. I feel pretty good about this. I think I can start. It's a little holy on the inside. So I'm actually gonna take myself out further to find a little more fetch. Remember people, don't try to get up when you don't have enough in the wing. It just is not gonna work out for you. So be patient, don't be afraid to, to work your way out. All right, we're looking good. Feeling a little better. Now I'm gonna to go to my knees. So again, I just have my wing up high in one hand. I'm gonna to go to my knees and use your wing as a sail. So I'm using my hips, my board's angled to the wind. And all I'm doing is looking for that power to get ready to do that front foot up. I'm just waiting, I'm just slowly backhand pressure. I'm just pulling in when I need the power. Now when I pull in, I'm gonna step up and then I'll go to my back foot, looking for power, just taking my time, waiting for that wind. So I'm just riding the board, waiting for that puff, keep that wing up high, just waiting for the right wind. And once I feel a nice little pressure in the wing, that's what I'm gonna go for getting up, all right? So I feel a good little puff there. Give it a few pumps. We'll just hold off, didn't come. Be patient, look up wind. Ooh, there's a puff. So I'm going to get that wing going, looking for it, it's not there. Just be patient people, this is all part of it. Not happening. So 
I'm gonna e edge again into the wind and just be patient, waiting for that puff. All right. Here we go. I'm doing that surging that board forward to get that speed up. Now, once I get going, I just sheeted that hand out, releasing the power because all of a sudden the board's moving pretty quick. So now I'm riding out. I'm going to make a tack. I just switched my feet by edging up and now I'm going to spin the wing, keep my speed up, turn nice and smooth. I slowly start edging back into the wind. The trick is always edging back into the wind. Woo! And this is Gary. What's up, my brother? Woo! This is what it's all about, is enjoying winging with your friends. All right, so now I'm tacking along. I'm looking at my surroundings. I see a kiter. Got to watch out for him. Right now, if I get powered up, I just sheet off the backhand, or I can crack that board off a little downwind, or I can edge a little bit more into the wind. If I need some power, I can pull in on that. I'm on a swell here. Now, important to know, if I take this all the way in, I got to be careful because of the wave. So we're going to make a turn. So I'm going to get a little juice going, let go of that backhand, slowly transition to the wing. It's all off my front. And then I go to the backhand and we got a wave. So don't be afraid to crack down wind. So I don't have the lip of the wave hit me. It's always better to avoid scenarios if you can, if you're not comfortable with it. So don't be afraid to crack off downwind, just give it a little power and turn that foil. Just stay over the foil. Now I'm riding toe side out. I'm going to make a nice turn again. And all we're going to do is I'm slowly going to look for a nice little wave, keep my speed up. I'm just going to release. I'm going to edge, get some speed up, release, go downwind, let off that backhand. And now I slowly brought that board around. I'm going downwind. I'm losing power. So I need to start edging into the wind. Give that wing a little power. Now I start going. So what's so cool about this sport is there's not really a wave out, right? But what's rad about winging is I can literally find a little teeny swell. I'm just looking for the top part of it, the mountainside. So the, the highest part of the swell. I'm just going to let go of this wing. Right now I'm in the highest part of that wave. And if I need to get a little more, I just give it a little pump. And I can literally stay in the power if needed. Now I'm starting to fade off, so I'm gonna go into the toe side turn. Keep it going. Okay, so now what's really cool is just going into a toe side tack. So I was just edging to the wind, bring that wing right over. And the trick is to line it up with the wave that you're running into. So we're just going downwind. All right, get that leash around, man. Most important thing, people, go out there, have a good time, learn. I mean, this is a sport. Put your time in and it's gonna come to you. So let's do an upwind tack again. I'm riding toe side, I'm looking for a little chip. My goal is to edge and stay over that board. I'm gonna release that back hand. I'm gonna go into that toe side. I'm gonna slowly bring that wing around and I'm just gonna try to keep, if I need to, keep that pressure going. So now I'm on the wave, let off that back hand feel it. I'm getting the lift in the front, so I'm just riding it. If I need to turn, I can turn. I can stay with it. If I lose it, give it a good little pump, try to stay with it. And that's it. That is what makes this sport so incredible. We got to do one more kick. I can't bail there. Oh my gosh, it's so cool. All right, so again, I'm just trying to stay over centered that board. I have foot straps on, I'm looking at my surroundings. Most importantly, we're in beautiful, crystal beautiful water here in Florida. And I'm with my dear friends and I'm with you guys. We get to share this amazing sport called wing foiling. And uh, man, it's magic. Okay, so I'm gonna come in now. So the trick to coming in is, you know, I wanna assess it, I wanna look what's around. Is there people, I see some people down there. so. Since there's people, I'm going to go into a toe side turn. I'm going to prepare myself for this scenario. I don't want to go too quick and run into somebody, right? So I see a kiter upwind. I see some waves coming. I'm trying to just avoid any issues by myself steering and going to where I need to go. All right, let's go into a toe side turn. 
and take that back hand. I'm going to push up. And just like that, you can have your own little issues. We all make mistakes. <laughs> so you gotta laugh at yourself. I was trying to not, not get anything wet. So um, we all make mistakes. Okay, here we go. All right, camera's on. Microphone should be good. All right, so first off, I wanna say I love you guys. Motivation tip for today is this session was to show appreciation, safety, and make sure we, we have awareness of our surroundings. Your friends, your family, if you see somebody in need out there, go help them. Make sure if you see somebody down, go check on them. He could have bumped his head. You could bump your head. Wear a helmet. These are all those things that like, we take it for granted. But remember, this is an extreme sport, can be dangerous in every way. So just, be aware, it's a reminder to everybody out there, even myself, so. All right, so I'm gonna get up. So my goal is, I'm gonna go to my knees. I'm just gonna sit here. I'm gonna get nice and comfortable, bring that wing above my head. And I'm just gonna slowly start edging my knees into the wind. I'm looking for that puff. I'm gonna get ready for that front foot to come up. So when I feel it, I'm gonna go for it. So it's a little lolly. Here we go, I feel a little puff. Bring that front foot up, got the back foot on. And now I'm just gonna wait until I feel that power. Really get on that back hand. And I'm just trying to scoot that board, scoot and pull, scoot and pull, kind of gets that board to release. It's a game of like scooting, pulling, and pulling in on that wing. All right, so I'm coming in. I'm gonna take a landing here. I look around, nobody around. Nice and safe, I see a wave coming. I'm slowing down, I'm gonna let the wave go by me. Once that wave goes by, I'm gonna jump off. I know I can grab my handle with my board, my wing is up high, away from the swell. Watch the surge of this water that comes. And then when I can exit, I exit fast. And if anything were to go wrong, I would just let go of that wing. So. We're gonna walk down here. Whew, what a beautiful session. And, uh, all right, so, that was onboard learning. I would say not learning. I would say this is a reminder to everybody out there. These things, safety, surroundings, knowing your surroundings, being prepared for anything, calling your loved ones, um, it's important. And if you don't feel comfortable today, like if I walk down in the water and those waves are too big, ride another day, pack it up, go have a Java, do it the next day. Because the days that usually you're fearful, I'm not saying don't try it, I'm just saying there's already signs kind of happening. So listen to them. You know, know the wind, know your areas. And that's it, people. We love you, have fun. Super appreciative of you guys, and uh, hopefully this helps you. And uh, get ready for the more. We're gonna have tons of people doing this in our video series to give you guys inspiration, knowledge, ways to ride waves, do backflips, ride with Harry, all that kind of stuff. It's coming. Mine was tamed down, reminder, know your surroundings. Much love, like and subscribe. We love you guys, thank you so much.